COVID-19 resulted in greater reliance on technology. There's no doubt about that. This has opened the door to increased cyber attacks. Today, we're going to be focusing on an article entitled, Why Higher Education Should Care About Cybersecurity. This was uh, published in Gulf Business, written by Oliver Cronk. The article goes on to say that there has been high volume of online communications between students, professors, university staff, which allowed cyber attackers to increase their activities. They use social engineering techniques, such as phishing emails, which try to convince users to turn over sensitive information to those people. They also use ransomware, which is a virus that gains access to the networks and threatens to reveal confidential information unless a ransom is paid. There are two apparent challenges as per this article. The first, technology challenges. Universities have decentralized IT infrastructure. This has created a lack of visibility of devices that are connected to their networks, which increases, of course, the risk of being attacked. According to the article, they need to deploy, they meaning universities, need to deploy endpoint protection, which will allow software updates and patches to be installed whenever they are needed. By endpoint, they mean the end user devices like the mobile phones, the laptops, desktops, etc. The second challenge is categorized as a skill challenge. Now, this is due to a shortage of funds and resources in higher education, which are usually allocated to uh, IT expertise. University IT departments are frequently underfunded, overworked, and sometimes underqualified. There's another article that focuses on the same issue. It's entitled, How to Address Cyber Threats Against Higher Ed. The article states that in general, Higher educational institutions are very vulnerable to cyber crimes. Why? Because, number one, they have research intelligence that is very sensitive. Two, they, of course, are the keepers of student data and records. And more recently, there's been this open IT environment which will allow for collaboration between researchers, students, and, and faculty members, etc. As per the authors, higher education needs to do the following. They need to carry out regular training for staff to increase awareness. They need to conduct, and I quote, simulations to test for weak spots in their defense systems. And finally, the article recommends using IT auditors, which is something new because auditors are usually associated with financial matters. But in cases of IT, with this environment that we have now, they recommend that we bring in such auditors to make sure that the system is safeguarded. My take. Sometimes action is only taken after a catastrophic event. Now we know that universities provide credible assessment of knowledge by keeping sensitive information locally or on the cloud. The question that needs to be asked is this. What would happen if the system is compromised? How will that impact the credibility of the university? If the answer to this question is, this is gonna be a big deal, then we need to take precautions now by investing heavily to make sure that the IT ecosystem is well guarded. This is my opinion, I would like to hear yours.